Did you know that 60% of you who are watching this video are not subscribed? Make sure you subscribe and turn on all notifications after you hit the notification bell and comment down below with a reaction video request. I heart comments and read them every day. Enjoy the video. What is up you awesome kisters? This is Reaction Guys and apparently we have some big news today from some uh, FNAF uh, data miners. I, I won't say data miners, I will say like the, the guys who look really deep into the F12 on the Security Breach TV website. A template for a countdown timer plugin was found on the Security Breach website. It's apparently supposed to go on the monitor. It's about uh, words I can't say in the first 30 seconds of a video. Credits to Cat Draws Reborn for informing me about this. So yeah, apparently people have found this 30-day timer. I hope that's 30 days and I'm not being an idiot. Yeah, 30 days, 23 hours, 59 minutes, 40. Yeah, so people... I uh, found this timer that in 30 days is supposed to be showing us something on the Security Breach TV screen. Um, and 30 days from now would be October 5th, and that makes a lot of sense. Security Breach is a horror game, and horror games usually are going to drop in um, October. And Nintendo's Metroid Dread, that's supposed to be like a little horror uh, turn of the Metroid series, I guess, is coming out in October. So, I mean, maybe Steel Wool is following... You know, the example of putting horror games out in October, which makes a lot of sense because, you know, that's spoopy month. So, yeah, um, this really puts our expectations at a, at a crossroads, though. Because everybody's really thinking, I'm, I'm, and I'm not saying that Steel Wool has ever said it, and I'm not saying that you should attack Steel Wool or be mad if it's not there or not, which I'm not going to be. But everyone has their expectations centered on this Thursday at the PlayStation State of Play, which I will be reacting to. So make sure you guys hit that like button if you want me to react to it and subscribe and turn on all notifications. Um, I'll be reacting to it to see if Security Breach ends up on the State of Play this Thursday. But uh, when it comes to seeing this type of stuff that may not be a placeholder for the website that they use to create Security Breach TV in the code, um, it really puts my expectations in a crossroads. So what Steel Wool might be doing, because this website was created a week before uh, Sony, uh, or no, I should say it was created the same week Sony stated that they were going to do a state of play. So since they did this, maybe they'll be showing us a trailer of what Security Breach looks like on Thursday and we'll be giving and we'll be giving us a release date but maybe they'll tell us that a gameplay reveal will be coming soon on their security breach TV website which that would be awesome which it would be 18 times awesome if Scott was the one to announce it but um yeah it could either be that they're gonna show us a little bit of what the game looks like and then a release date after that or they'll show us what the game looks like and then on this gameplay trailer that's apparently coming out on October 5th um this I'm sorry this timer this thing that's coming out on October 5th, apparently, will be the gameplay plus the release date. But what's kind of weird about it, and I'm not trying to be a dick or, like, trying to, like, you know, you know, just be mean or shoot people down. But what's kind of weird is, is that if you go to the Security Breach TV website, they're not showing this timer actively. And at this point, we all realize that they use some website creator to make this app. And we know that if you press tab on um the security breach tv website there's a bunch of sliders and stuff that you can mimic or that's a mimic that you can toy with on there and the sliders don't do anything but apparently they like turn down the audio or some stuff so maybe it's somebody at steel wool that just like kind of forgot to delete the stuff because obviously those widgets aren't supposed to be there if they if they really don't have any use you know and like maybe they forgot to just remove this code that goes to this website and they have their own set time limit. Because it's kind of strange that, like, when you go to the website, the Steel Wool logo, when you click on it, like, it goes to their YouTube channel as well. So, I don't know if they're planning on posting something. It it's so weird. They're not, like, telling us uh, stuff about it. And they shouldn't because that's what Scott did as well with his teaser websites. He didn't tell us anything. The pictures always did. So, yeah, it, it just really puts expectations at crossroads. Like, is does this timer actually mean anything? Are they actually going to show gameplay slash trailer at state of play uh is their youtube channel going to be showing the stuff what's going on here we don't know what's going on so let me know in the comments below do you guys think that they'll end up at the state of play do you think that this timer is an actual thing that they left there on purpose and october 5th will be when we're seeing some security breach stuff um let me know let me know let me know what you guys think in the comments down below i'll see y'all later peace out